Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome to the channel. So I went over all of my Lowrider ST videos and tried to pick out the seven most common questions or comments that you guys have asked. Today I'm gonna to address them all, stick around. Let's start with question number one. Where is the USB charging port on the Lowrider ST? So I'm gonna show you here in just a second. First of all, I wanted to mention this. That is just exactly what it is. It's not a port that integrates with any of the electronics or anything on the motorcycle. You can't listen to your stereo use it through it or anything like that. It is just for charging a device only, and it's the standard USB connection. But here's where it's at on the bike. So if we look at the frame of the motorcycle right here, follow it all the way up and over, you'll see a small little plastic square. You flip that out and right there is your standard USB charging port. So you can plug in a wire here. If you wanna run it up and over to your handlebars for a device that you have right there, but that again, right here, is where that charging port is at if you need access to it. So are you gonna need a new windshield? This is a question that comes up time and time again. What do I think about the wind buffeting on the Lowrider ST? Am I gonna need a new windshield? That type of thing. So let me just go ahead and get this out of the way. The fairing on the Lowrider ST is awesome. It's gonna provide you plenty of uh, wind deflection. You're just not, you're gonna sit in a nice little cocoon, a nice little protective bubble that the Lowrider ST offers when you're out on the road. Now, when we're talking about uh, the windshield you know there's a couple of different varieties out there i went ahead and bought the clockworks windshield uh six and a half maybe maybe six and a half i'd have to go back and look but anyway it was the first one that they offered and i gotta be completely and totally honest with you guys here and just to let you know whether i'm running the clockworks windshield or the stock windshield i cannot tell a difference whatsoever the windshield is not what is not what's going to keep the wind off of you when it comes to the lowrider st it's the fairing so this is going to come up a couple of different times too but just keep in mind that when we're talking about this i'm five nine depending on your height it's going to be a little different for you so that's my take on the windshield Well, this next question comes up all the time and I, all, and I always know it's gonna happen because anytime that I film the motorcycle from the front, I know you guys are gonna ask this question. And it's a great question because I would be curious too and it goes something like this. How do you get your headlight to flash like that? What type of headlight is it? What type of device do you have? Is that legal in Tennessee? What did you have to do? And the answer to that question is not very cool but it's true and that is this nothing i haven't done anything to the headlight of this motorcycle so let me explain the headlight that i have is made by cali raised moto it's the lp4 and i think it was right around 720 dollars 730 dollars i'll put a link down in the description below so you guys can know for sure and it's just the way that the uh the cameras pick up the headlight so it doesn't really flash at all if you're looking at it not through a camera lens it doesn't flash now i've reached out to some of my friends and they've offered their reasons why they they think they just think this is and it has something to do with the you know the frame rate in the camera the refresh rate of the camera i mean i don't know i'm not a camera geek when it comes to those type of things but it's the camera that picks up the flashing the headlight is really just staying solid but good question guys good good question now i am 59 i think i just mentioned that a couple of minutes ago but that's a question that comes up all the time people want to know how tall am i or i'm such and such hot uh, you know one of my viewers might say do you think the lowrider st is going to be a good fit for me and really my answer to that question comes in two parts one i always say this no matter how tall you are if you're taller than me or if you're shorter than me one of the things i would recommend is go take a demo ride on the lowrider st because somebody who's taller i mean they might think that the motorcycle is uncomfortable but then again they might go you know what this is a great motorcycle i can i can live with this and um so 
I would say no matter what your height, if you're interested in the Lowrider ST, definitely go take a demo rod. But, but, I would recommend this, that if you're any taller than, let's say, uh, six foot maybe, you might want to seriously consider the forward control kit on this motorcycle. Because right now, I'm, again, I'm 5'9", I'm not cramped up, but if I was any taller than I am, I can see where the mid controls could potentially be a factor for me. But um, all in all, the motorcycle for me is a perfect fit. I absolutely love it, but if you're a taller rider, you might want to take a demo ride and consider that forward control kit. So another question that I get on a pretty frequent basis is what type of floorboards do you have on your motorcycle? So these are the original Garage Moto. Uh, you can get them on their website. There were, when I, at the time that I purchased them, right about $289. They should be the same. And they've got all types of color assortments if, if that's your thing. I just went with a standard black, but they've got gold, silver, blue. You know, check their stock and that type of thing. But I'll put a link down in the, link down in the description below so you can check it out yourself. Well, as you guys can see, I've got the Rockford Fosgate in the front of the motorcycle here. And a lot of questions I get from people on this is about clarity and volume. And so let me just say this. Yes, the system is loud. Yes, it is very clear. But anything above 55, 60 miles per hour, it's you're not going to... Well, let me just say this, my expectations were not really met at, you know, 55, 60 miles per hour. The wind noise just kind of drowns everything out. It really does. But if you're doing like round town riding, commuting, that type of thing, this might be perfect for you. And it's like I say in, you know, just about every other situation, if you have the opportunity to try out this product on your motorcycle or somebody else's, do it. But for me, Anything over 60 miles per hour, eh, it's just not happening. Now something else that comes up that I see as a reoccurring theme, and I think it's a good question again, is how much did you pay for the motorcycle? So if you've ever watched uh, my channel before, I trade in motorcycles on a, on a kind of regular basis. This one I'm going to be hanging on to for a while. I really, really am. I love this bike. But I buy all of my motorcycles from White Lightning Harley-Davidson and I only pay MSRP. And it's not just me, that's just how the dealership does business and, and that's how they sell their bikes. They're not out to rip people off. And so I paid MSRP for this bike. Now, keep in mind, this was when the Lowrider ST was the new hotness. You know, it was you know really tough to get and you couldn't find them in dealerships and if you could order one you had to wait a little while and that type of thing and i got mine pretty quick and i got it at a great price so it was really tough to pass that up for sure so i would love to give you guys a definitive dollar amount on that but as you can tell i'm out riding around right here i don't have it in front of me but i can tell you this it most definitely was msrp my local dealership treats me well and I hope yours does the same too. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me today. I most definitely appreciate your time. I hope I was able to kind of distill all of these seven topics down and answer them for you. And I'll tell you what, if you have a Lowrider ST and there's a question that maybe I didn't get to or that you would like to ask, please, please put that in the comments below. I'd love to be able to hear from you. Oh boy, I tell you what, thank you guys again. Please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon.